No, we're recording. Ooh, it's so damn hot. Milk was a bad choice. Ooh, Devin. Right? Am I right? Yeah. Epic bacon Devin over here. Yeah. Look at me. When Devin has a good riff on the podcast, I go, Devin, for the win. <laughs> this is some Reddit gold. Right. The face when Devin deserves Reddit gold. He's a kind stranger. Aren't you guys kind of jealous of those dudes, though? Oh, of course. Like the epic mealtime guy? Mm-hmm. What I'm, happened to him? Like, if you could just go back in time and be like, yeah, I just eat bacon sandwiches with, like, lots of bacon on them. Yeah. Harley, and I, have, I have a beard. And Harley I make, Morenstein? Yeah, and I guy? make $14 million a year. What does he do now? I don't know. I think he mails pipe bombs to himself yeah, out I, in I, the I woods. Don't know if that, I don't know if that kept up too well for him. He, I think he's probably selling Dippin' Dots at Six Flags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he works at a Copenhagen factory. He probably um he's like those guys in Japan where you can pay him ten dollars to beat the shit out of him with mm-hmm. a bat. Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah, there's uh, guys in Japan who they're like you know, like in uh in the US we have like those robot guys who go Yeah. In Japan they just cut like the bullshit and they're like, You can here's a baseball bat for ten dollars, you can beat the shit out of me for like thirty five seconds. Oh, man. We really did a number on them. <laughs> I know they're like for thirty dollars you can nuke my balls, <laughs> stick my balls in a microwave, mm-hmm. give me radiation poisoning. Ugh. Yeah, they, over there, man, they're just like someone just taking a really big shit in mm-hmm. the shape of a baseball bat, and then and then they're like, pick that up and beat the shit out of me with it. Right, <laughs> pick up my turd right now yeah. and whoop the shit out of me. Yeah. I mean, they're so sick that the like the richest businessman, like their Wall Street guy, walks out of the Wall Street building and then he goes to a vending machine and gets panties out of it <laughs> and then eats the panties yeah. in a, a suit that costs $5,000. <laughs> he goes, ooh, tough day of trading. I think I, I take a nice panties uh-huh. out yeah. of a machine. Yep. Did they even think the audition was a horror film? They thought the audition was like a romantic comedy. Yeah, that was like 50 first dates yeah, for them. Like, I love to find a nice lady, eat my fingers. <laughs> I even forget the plot of that. Doesn't a lady just get her she tortured to death? A lady goes on an audition, I think, and she like... The in guy's Japan, like, right? Yeah, in Japan, and the guy's like, you suck, and then the rest of the movie's just her like cutting the guy up into pieces, and that's like the whole movie. I never saw this. Yeah. Is, it, never, is it a Japanese film, or we made it? Uh, we probably remade it with like uh, like Chloe Grace Moretz or something. Yeah, I'm okay. sure we remade it at some point. Chloe Grace Moretz and like Charlie Day, and it's like a it's like it is an actual romantic comedy mm-hmm. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah th- it was uh, shot in Japan, and it's a really big movie because uh, I really think like Japanese guys get off to it. It's like a it seems like a fantasy movie for them. Mm-hmm. Who knows what Japanese guys get off to? They get off to fucking everything. Yeah, I don't know, man. They showed the first Saw movie in porno theaters yeah. over there. They, you know they get off to getting off. Like, they yeah. get off work, and they just start jacking off <laughs> on the subway. Mm. You know why it is, though? It, it's all kind of hitting me at once. Why is that? It's because they don't have guns. If you just let them own guns, they would, they would feel powerful just having something sitting in their safe mm-hmm. or in their closet. Right. Yeah. They go to the shooting range, fire off some rounds, and they wouldn't have to, like... Imagine a woman has a big squid. <laughs> you know, they want to have to uh, draw a child. Right. And, then go, they and go, no, the child. child's a thousand years old in this story I'm writing. It's not right. a child. It looks like a child. It's yeah. a thousand year old deity. And I then do. they masturbate. It's called Lolly, by the way. What? What? what Lo- is? Lolly. Lolly is drawings of, of. It's not illegal. It's like legal CP. Oh. Right. Because they came up. L O L L I. They came up with a loophole where they go, actually, it's a thousand year old demon that looks like a child, mm-hmm. so we can fuck it. So, like, technically, technically it's it's immortal. Uh. And it's been on the. It, it's thousands of years old. Right. It's not okay. a kid. They hired, like, Guillermo del Toro, and they're like, how can we fuck <laughs> this kid legally? Can you create a, a folklore back mm. tale? And he was touching his, his fingers together. Yeah, like Guillermo del Toro, pale spiders. Yeah, he goes "Mm." (laughs) Guillermo del Toro in the hamster cage that he sleeps inside of at night. (laughs) I get this image of Guillermo del Toro like he wakes up in a big pile of sawdust and he eats a big pallet and then runs on a wheel. I know. He's like, "What if I made the Pinocchio gay?" I love that he said about the Pinocchio movie. He was like, "By the way, this is not a children's movie." Yeah, it's like, dude, it totally is. He's like, he's like, "This ain't your mama's Pinocchio." (laughs) 
This ain't no Pinocchio for pussies. Like, what is it, like train spotting? Like, what happens in it? Yeah, he's like, this Pinocchio is about fascism, <laughs> so it's not for it, babies. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, yeah, we're showing this to babies because we don't care about them. Mm -hmm. Guillermo del Toro made a movie. He made Pinocchio. Yeah, he made a stop motion Pinocchio. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. it was like 100 pictures a second or something. And it was like some sort of like insane achievement that no one like cared. Yeah, no one watched. It was a stop motion movie. Yeah. Yeah, okay, right. But it had that Guillermo del Toro twist where it's like the blue fairy is actually like a fucked up spider lady. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. Can you can you fucking handle that? Yeah, everything is he makes. Fu- is that too fucking twisted for you? Guillermo del Toro is like, wait till people see where I put a third eye on this character. <laughs> uh, I got to play something in the background, right? Uh, no, I'll just I mean, play us. I don't know if it's necessary. I don't think I'll pe- just play us. people are screaming about it right mm-hmm. now. Make sure it's always not me wearing the same outfit. We did that one time. <laughs> it was very embarrassing for me. Here we go. Here we are. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Here we are. Look at that. That's fine. Here we go. As long as I still have the same Crocs, that's fine. Fine with me. As long as, because otherwise the screen just goes blue. Mm hmm. Yeah. You don't want that. No. No. Is he the only f- big fat filmmaker, by the way? Guillermo, Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro? No, I don't think so. Who was the other? Because before him, we only had like like uh, Orson Welles was a great big fat guy. But other than that, Peter Jackson, I think, is a fat fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, He's a fat fuck. Peter Jackson looks like one of his own dwarves in the movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. they based Gimli off Peter Jackson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. How do you climb all those hills and shit in Lord of the Rings without rolling back down? Oh, they I mean, fucking come on. Operation Dumbo drop. They got him yeah. in a helicopter. Yeah, and just launched him up there. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He choppers everywhere. He probably choppers to his neighbor's house. <laughs> he choppers yeah. to the bodega. Yeah. <laughs> choppers to his own fridge. Yeah. Lands on top of his fridge and makes a sandwich. <laughs> and then gets back in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, there's... I mean, filmmakers are, I think, a lot of the best were fat. That's true. A lot of them were great big fat guys. Yeah. And then the best actors that we've had, as we know, become great big fat guys They all later. become fat. They never mm-hmm. could start as great big fat guys. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Because you got to be gay and fuckable at the beginning. That's a rite of passage to become yeah. a great big fat disgusting guy. Yeah, and you play so many characters, you're like, I have to absorb them and like hold them in my body, and that's why you get fat. Yeah, yeah. Marlon Brando had the soul of every character he played inside it, of him. Yeah, because it is uh, at its highest form, it is a form of possession. <laughs> it's really, really he's freaking doing, me out. The soy face, face behind you. <laughs> It really sucks. I still love that people like like put this on like an eighty five inch television and then just watch it an inch away from the screen. Mm. Yeah, it's deranged. Just listen to it. <laughs> we shouldn't have to have a YouTube. People are holding drive in movie theaters hostage mm-hmm. with like a like a bomb vest <laughs> and then just watch it. Party. party on. People yeah. are like starting the podcast and going, "Cheers to the boys, <laughs> <laughs> to my friends." Uh, but no, we appreciate every single one. No, we you love know, you. Make our lives yeah. possible. Yeah. Um, or whatever. What were you just saying? About what? I don't know. Fat people or something. Oh, <laughs> we're on to a oh, new topic on I've, Lemon Party. Ben's talking fat people. I was saying, I was saying it's a form of possession, and that's why they become so fat. Like Jay said, they absorb all their care. They become like Kirby essentially, mm-hmm. and they become. It's they're literally like Russell Crowe, uh, uh, the other guy, Mar- uh, Mar- Marlon, not, Brando. Marlon Brando, Orson Welles. Yeah, they're possessed. Yeah. So there's all these spirits. Uh, inside them you know and that's why they they have to expand their flesh well you have to be fuckable to break into hollywood like the, the actors and actresses they're essentially just they're they're pros they're just higher level like like porn stars i like when people jump the gun too early with becoming great big fat guys like Jesse Plemons, mm-hmm. the two roles, and then he's like, "Okay, I can." He called his agent. He's like, "I can." Yeah, he's I, like, what? "I can do it." He's like, "What's yeah. that? I have two hundred thousand dollars. All right, I'm getting fat. Yeah, and I'm gonna bang the Spider Man lady the whole time." <laughs> he called his agent. He goes, "These snack rooms are out of fucking control." <laughs> okay, what do you think? What is the point of you know mm-hmm. me making it? He knocked her up, knocked up Kirsten Dunst, played with her nice, juicy, nice big juicy titties, big cans, yeah, huge cans. If you've seen Melancholia, some of the the cans blow you out of the water when yeah. you see your cans. Yeah. They're insane. Yeah. If I was in that Spider-Man scene, I would have just reached down and just started squeezing her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That scene really got people going. Making out uh, upside down. Her upside down, too. I mean, first of all, they got to use a couple wires there. Real sturdy. <laughs> and then she's definitely wearing like four bras. Otherwise, her titties would just. Yeah. She was right side just, up, though. 
She was, yeah, she, was she was standing. Oh, yeah. why, why would she be upside down? <laughs> yeah. that, that wouldn't make sense. That would be yeah. a sick rape thing where Spider Man put her in a web and he's like, now I can yeah. have my That's way the with Japanese Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. As he has her tied up. And they're like, oh, he has, a, he has his abilities. He can do BDSM anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lovely rapey Spider Man. Everybody masturbated to that scene. Oh, yeah. In the theater. Yeah. Everybody came together right before 9-11, yep. and they all masturbated yep. to Kirsten Dunst. It was, I was in a theater with Paul Rumitz and Fred Willard, <laughs> yep. and we were both... We took turns just jacking each other's putts. <laughs> yeah. You guys two two PG-13 kissing <laughs> upside down. In the rain. In the rain. It, to epic, like... Uh, right. Yeah, in the, I mean, as a kid, I do remember watching that as a kid and being like, uh, if, if this was R, I'd see your nips right now, because it's wet, and I know their nips come through when it's wet it was a very iconic sexual scene yeah you know and then he shoot he is shooting cum the whole movie it's very sexual it's he's swinging on cum mm-hmm. you it's, know, it's not right just coming out of his wrists no and I, I knew the nipples came through the shirt too because i had seen the movie caddyshack yeah that's true mm-hmm. and in caddyshack she's not wearing a bra there, there, and it's, her nipples are coming through her yeah shirt. there was a mm-hmm. fun moment because yeah. you know we grew up christian but we had a, a dvd player in our car and i remember being with our i don't know if you remember, I this. remember this yeah being with our cousins and you know the tv's just they just put caddyshack and they're like fuck it who gives a shit yeah eight-year-olds need to watch golf humor um, and we were, I think I was the oldest, I was 11, and then the scene in Caddyshack where he's just fucking the shit out of that lady and her big meatball titties are hanging there, and I, look, I looked at my brother and every cousin, and I was like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't you fucking, I was like, don't you fuck this up for me. Reaching down, hitting pause on the v- VHS, <laughs> making a little tent uh, out of the towel I took to the beach mm, so I could jack off yeah, real quick. Mm. Yeah, because our parents were up front, you know, talking about like, you know, like, I think Ben's gay. We should probably kill him because he might be a little free. Yeah, and then meanwhile, we have an Etch-A-Sketch and we're like, we're drawing the titty. <laughs> like to scale. Yeah, we're, we're like, we're, we're putting the titty on an etching sketch so we can jack off to it mm-hmm. later in our closet. Yeah. Yeah. That was my first titty. Was it as Etch a Sketch? Uh, Ca- Caddyshack. Caddyshack. A Caddyshack titty. Caddyshack in the movie Airplane has titties for like three seconds. Yeah. Airplane has titties in it? Yeah, there's one random scene where they're crashing and just a lady's like huge tits, like walking to frame for a second. <laughs> that movie's so funny. And I rem- at 11 years old, I was like, thank you, Zucker Brothers. <laughs> I saluted like I was David Goggins. <laughs> I was like, "Who's gonna carry the boats?" <laughs> didn't you use well, to I jack off? <laughs> didn't you used to jack off to Schindler's List? I did. I had an old bit. <laughs> I forgot about that. I had an old bit about that because I was, uh, you know, weird. Look, I was obsessed with the Holocaust as a kid, um, just because I was like, "Finally, it was know? so hot." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Finally, we show them up." Um, but now, my dad was like a history teacher, so he was showing Schindler's List one day in school, and I was like eleven, and I was like. I was in his classroom and I was like, "Can I can I watch the movie?" He's like, "Fine, yeah, who cares? It's only six million Jews getting obliterated. <laughs> Go watch that unsupervised." Yeah. And then I put the movie in, and then if you've watched the movie in the first like five minutes, there's there are titties in a sex scene, and I was like, I remember being like, I'm like, ah, yeah, I have to you jack gotta, off to you it. You gotta use it. Yeah, you know, there's some there's a kid right now somewhere like you guys. He's gonna jack off to Oppenheimer. You know, that's true. He'll be jacking off while Florence Pugh reads Sanskrit mm-hmm. or whatever the fuck. <laughs> yeah, why? Why Florence Pugh reads the new uh, Rupi Kapar? Yeah, novel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just the worst. I Man, I used to jack off the Hustle and Flow on my PSP <laughs> PlayStation Portable. I had oh, the, yeah. little, the little tiny DVD. Mm-hmm. I walk, bring it into the bathroom. I'd always have to be jacking up because it's a real small house. The bathroom's in the living room. Sure. So I'd just be jacking off and listening to my parents <laughs> talk about fucking Noam Chomsky yeah. or some shit. Your parents having an argument while you're jacking yeah. off nine feet away. I go, Can you guys shut the fuck up? I'm about to jizz. Yeah. You open the door, you have like an old newspaper and, <laughs> and a robe like your Rodney Dangerfield. You go, you mind? I'm trying to fucking come. You're fucking nine. Yeah. Standing in yeah. your old Victorian bathtub, jacking off. <laughs> your bathtub that like pioneers used to bathe in and like boardwalk Yeah, Empire. he's masturbating in a clawfoot tub. <laughs> God. Yeah. Jacking off and then pouring a bucket of water over your head. Yep. Go, that was a good jack. I, I can see you. Devin whittling, like getting a knife and whittling a hole in a bar of soap to put his cock through mm-hmm. and jacking off with. I thought of that. I thought of many ways to put my penis in things. Never successfully. Oh, but I did it all. Oh, yeah. 
bananas. You fucked a banana? Of course. You microwave it. It's fucking hot. It's fucking great. So then you do you peel? Do you just put the peel around your penis like your penis is the banana? Yeah, I'm kind of confused too. What are you? How are you fucking it? You take you a little bit of ass? the banana out, and then the rest of the banana gets kind of melty. Is it oh. peel? And then you just fuck the peel. And then oh, you, feel, you fuck the peel. And then you destroy it. You're like, oh, my dick's huge. I'm a king. Did you flush the banana like it was toilet paper? And then you run through the streets trying to find somebody else's trash can to throw it in like an absolute psychopath. Yeah, like you're committing murder. Yeah, really. literally yeah. like dumping a body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, here's what I thought you were going to do because kids are, you know, the ingenuity. It's it's incredible. It's unbelievable we can come up with. I mm-hmm. thought you were going to microwave a banana, get it to the perfect temperature with like a meat thermometer. Like you're testing it, you're like flicking yeah. the Devin's flicking got, the dial. Devin's got those tool like those barbecue guys on TikTok use. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's got the back black gloves. He's like, all right, it's a 165. That's <laughs> that's perfect bane temp. Yeah. So we're gonna put some of that Louisiana hot rub on it. Like that bayou griller. Yeah. Uh, hey, how you doing, y'all? We today we're fucking a banana. <laughs> how you doing? We're gonna fuck an avocado pit today. Today. Uh, you get your orange soda. You get the most unhealthy shit of all time. I thought Devin was going to get the banana at perfect temperature and then sort of like mash it up in one of those bowls that uh, people who are addicted to pills use. Mm. You know, the people that, that crush like... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Making like pesto. Yeah, yeah. 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 And people You're talking about like one of those like, Mexican bowls, a pommel bowl. Yeah, where yeah. they make like masa and shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, you do one of that, you, ma- <laughs> you mash it up like a, some insane, like like on the floor of the, of the like on the tile, you mash up the banana. And it's nice and warm, and you put that in a toilet paper roll that hasn't mm. that is completely used that you've saved and stored somewhere else, right? And then you put the banana in the tube that that paper tube that comes with the toilet paper, and you to form, keep it straight, or so yeah. it doesn't exp- so it doesn't yes. Yeah, so, uh, well, if I fucking if I had you around, <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. never thought of that. You get, I mean, That's Ben would have been your oppie, yeah. your oppie. <laughs> You guys have like a big chalk. You're both wearing suits and have a chalkboard. You're like, okay, so we put the banana in there. Yeah. And then uh, Benny Safty's like, until someone builds a bigger pussy. Uh, I never knew yeah. anybody that actually fucked a watermelon or a cantaloupe. Yeah. But I've heard, I heard tale that that's what you could do. How do people do that? You cut a hole in the watermelon and then you fuck the water. I don't you, know. Do you cut a hole? Fun. You drill a hole in the watermelon. You have like one of those old timey drill things, and then you put it in the uh, oven until it gets hot, and then you fuck it. Uh, you need one of those drills okay. that like ice fishermen use. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, ice road jackers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're all just jacking off into the ice. Right. These are some of the most dangerous jacking conditions known to man. Yeah. It's like guitar uh, music playing. Extreme Jackers w- is going to be the future of reality TV. Though. I would I would watch that right now yeah. if that was a real show. Yeah. Just a guy with a big long beard going like, I lost my brother jacking off on this road. He was trying to fuck a, a trout pond mm. during the winter he fell in. <laughs> Only thing we found was one of his balls. <laughs> This ain't for no pussies. Yeah, you're gonna, dude. You're gonna masturbate like at the top of Mount Everest. Mm-hmm. You're gonna masturbate at sea. Yeah, I'm gonna, like a deadliest catch type of sea. I would love to go in a hot air balloon and then jerk off off the side of it. Yeah, and just knowing it's it's blowing like somebody's. Well, head there's up. something that makes you feel very kingly when you stand up and come. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you yeah. ever like come into the toilet bowl while standing? Oh sure. Oh, you yeah. kind of just feel like you know you want to you want to yell like I am Sparta. <laughs> Yeah, and you kick the cop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get away from me. Be gone with you. Gross yeah. jelly. Vi- vile uh, seed. Vile white jelly from my mom. You're, you're flushing with one toe as you come. <laughs> away with you. Oh, that would it be shoots even, into the swirl. Yeah, that would be even better, like getting one foot on top of the toilet. <laughs> And just like really like your face fucking your own toilet. Mm-hmm. Dude, yeah. when I was a kid, I used to come so hard. Like I used to be on my back. I used to be all gay. I'd be on my bed like. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah. Like I'd yell. I'd, I'd act like I was like having like a sex scene. Are you movie. serious? Yeah, okay. I made it better. I was like free. Yeah. Oh, were you imagining yourself like fucking Dude, a woman? My parents were gone and they were like, we're going to a fucking gay dinner party with your, with stupid friends that we hate. <laughs> 
that look down on us because we're like poor and shit. Mm. If they went out and I was at home alone, I would jack off on the couch and I would like lean my head. I'd act so, I'd act like a like a Sex in the City scene. Like I'd like drop rose petals on my face and when I come, I would I would go like, ah! <laughs> I'd like wiggle and that is very right. funny because it's fucking good it made it better so you're like Lester Burnham in American Beauty but instead of wanting to fuck the girl in high school you're just into masturbating I'm just into jacking off mm-hmm. yeah man that re- yeah dude <laughs> do you <laughs> It's so funny that you couldn't even identify with a, a loser from a film. No. Like, you're like, I'm, you're like, that guy's way cooler than me. No, I felt completely alien. Mm-hmm. I was like, I will never fit in on this on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're, you're jacking off imagining you jacking off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how you know Devin is a, an incredibly isolated man, like, far from any sort of, uh, you know, normal. Like, you. You finally, you saw Ghost World and you were like, no, that character like Steve Buscemi, finally I feel represented. Yeah, Steve much. Buscemi in Ghost World. Mm-hmm. Wow, and finally. You're, you're like, maybe one day I'll get pussy from a 17-year-old <laughs> yep. with, with enormous tits. Yeah. When I saw Ghost World, I remember Enid, I was like, man, where is there a woman out there with huge tits that hates humanity like me? <laughs> like, it was a big fantasy yeah, yeah. of mine. Yeah, you yeah. walked outside and someone leaned out the window and goes, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, immediately. Absolutely not, dude. Go back inside yeah. and keep jacking yeah. like, like me. Hey, there's like 20 big titty goth women and we're all fighting over them, okay? <laughs> and you're not going to get any, all right? <laughs> Fucking Uncle Fester child over here. <laughs> You, you guys, said that before that you looked like Uncle Fester as a kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys never fucking came hard alone. You guys never like like really played into it and just be like, I'm gonna be free. No, today. we were we were like you know a household of six, so we had yeah. to really Damn, you know that sucks. We had to jack off like we were mercenaries, basically. <laughs> yeah, I talked about this on the podcast, but I I could only jack off to the Girls Gone Wild commercial that played at 3 a.m. So I just I just fucked my sleep schedule. Yeah, right. For nine years. <laughs> Just 3 a.m., just silently in front of my TV. Like, oh, oh. Jason's like brewing yeah. coffee, yeah. Like waking up. Yeah, I'm like one of the guys in like Apollo 13. Mm. I'm like loosening my tie and putting no, a You're like a out. single mother working a double mm-hmm. yeah. like for her kid. Just ultimately jacking off to black bars. <laughs> Like yeah, on pretty much. Tits. Like, yeah. You're not even really looking at anything. No, no. I'm seeing the I'm seeing the outside of a titty. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, I know these girls are getting taken advantage of at least, so that rules. I uh, uh I got an iPod Touch from uh the school. And uh Which is this big, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like you remember how you could watch like videos on like the iPod Nano? It was like it was like fake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're like, look, it's it's uh, it's Michael from the office. Right. Look. I can watch the office on a postage stamp. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't this rule? And I did it happily. Yeah, yeah. we all did. It was we were, awesome. We yeah. were in school. Mm. And uh I got an iPod touch and our pre our, our so we weren't allowed to look up porn, obviously, mm-hmm. on the iPod Touch. Mm-hmm. So what I did to circumvent this is I found out that on the App Store, there was an app called Bikini Babes, but I knew I couldn't download it because they could see my download history. But in the app preview of Bikini Babes, there were five photos of just women wearing bikinis, something you would see if you just went to the pool. Sure, right. sure yeah. Right. Just a bikini, a bikini babe. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was addicted to that for like five months. And then our preacher said, like, if there is any one of you, if there's anything in your home that is, is holding you back from maybe entering the kingdom of heaven, whether, whether it is a, a television set, you know, take a sledgehammer uh, to mm-hmm. it because you can't take it with you when you right. die. He goes, Ugh. if there's any kids out here jerking off to an iPad <laughs> nano preview screen, <laughs> come forward and be washed again, brother. Dude. Do you know what I did on like uh, that uh, County Road 150 right there on the way yeah. to the house, like outside Tuscola? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stopped at that little bridge where there's a creek that's running through, and I got out and I stood on the bridge and I. I, went, <laughs> hey! and I, I threw my iPod touch into the water. <laughs> like, you're, like you're in the cartel. <laughs> like you're getting rid of evidence. Yeah. Yeah, like you just like unload the uh, 100 kilos on the on the south side. <laughs> and breaking in. You know yeah. what's so funny? You know what's so funny? This is what? how equally fucked up we both oh, were. Oh, by the way, then I went home and I <laughs> masturbated within like 30 minutes. And then I, you were me- like, I immediately Fuck. went home and just like masturbated over the toilet because mm-hmm. I was so like 
fuck. Like, mm-hmm. But I thought, like, driving home, I was like, and I'm never going to jack off again the rest of my life. Right. By the way. <laughs> Cut to 15 minutes later, like, oh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> fuck, yeah. By the way, legal driving age in the story. I'm seven, old enough to operate a machinery. Uh, I believe I was 17 yeah. years old. And you're throwing away your iPod Nano. Keep, keep in mind, I still thought babies came out of the butt. <laughs> I thought I, you came in a butt. I didn't know what a vagina. I didn't. I thought a vagina was for pee, and that you fuck women in the ass, right? Because right. that's how. And that's I what dr- you've been telling Katie for years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's why this baby is shocking. You're like, I don't know. I just. I guess I pulled out, and some leaked into her pussy. <laughs> I think your pussies are asshole. <laughs> Yeah, you're like a 1940s uh, couple in like Kinsey or something. I had to go <laughs> off of like what I saw with my eyes, which is the only thing I saw have sex uh, was dogs. Mm. And then you go have context clues dog- from movies. Sometimes yeah. a guy puts it, he goes, ah, and a woman up against a wall. And right, I'm like, oh, right. he's putting it in her ass. Exactly. Well, yeah, I had that when I was a kid. I was like, how the fuck is they doing this in the kitchen this <laughs> way? It yeah. must be big butt sex. <laughs> I also yeah. like you imagining that dogs are butt fucking, like dogs are squirting <laughs> yeah, lube dude, I they were on fucking, each other's asses. I thought they were fucking each other in the ass. Yeah, because I was like, well, how did I go two? Do- I go because I figured out two male dogs fuck each other. There you go. And I was like, well, I go. It's the ass. What's it's funny? All in the ass. What's funny? If you were gay, you'd be like, perfect, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it Got out it. of the gay. Yeah, yeah, if I was gay, it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The gay community would have made you their god. <laughs> like, oh my yeah. god, he's he, so gay he doesn't acknowledge. He literally doesn't even acknowledge vaginal sex. Pussy. He doesn't know what it is. He doesn't he, know what it is. He's right. so gay. He asked me what the fuck a pussy is. He's the gayest man alive. <laughs> <laughs> he refuses to even know what a pussy is. Yeah. Uh, won't even won't even look at one. He covers it with his hand like he's watching a scary movie. <laughs> Can't describe him. I remember getting baptized. I think if, I don't know if you did the same thing. I got baptized. I got baptized at, when I was twelve. I got baptized at thirteen. I was a, I was a late bloomer in the church, um, and bapti- baptism like washes away all your sins. So I remember being like, okay, and we're uh, we believe in ablution, which is full submersion under the water and then back up. Yeah, none gotcha, of this gotcha. sprinkle shit. Yeah, right, right, right. That's when people are going to hell. We're we're like <laughs> you, you got to get baptized like a soggy bottom boy. <laughs> Right. That's the only way to do it. Yeah. So I remember, like, I was like, okay, when I get baptized, you got to get baptized um, so you don't go to hell. Yeah. When you're like 12. Because once you know the difference between right and wrong, if you die, you can go to hell. Right. So right. you got to get baptized, like, pretty much immediately. Right. Mm-hmm. right, right. And it's, like, it's all these loopholes. Like, if you were driving to get baptized and, like, you died, like, God would be like, sorry, you get raped by the devil forever. <laughs> um, so I was like, <laughs> I knew I was like, okay, baptism, that's a clean shot. So I'm going to like, just for two weeks, I'm just going to get all the come out. And I'll just never <laughs> jack off again. You acted right. like you were declaring bankruptcy. Yeah, basically. I was like, I got I to yeah. gotta spend some assets. You were like, I still got some credit. <laughs> I was like, honey, that condo in the Cayman Islands, sell it, put it offshore. <laughs> you, know that, you know all that come in Jamaica we have? We got to get rid of that. <laughs> I'm burying, I'm burying yeah. cum in like yeah. jars Bitch, in my backyard. Putting cum in the vents. <laughs> Shell corp cum. So you you racked up two weeks of hard. So I did that thing you would do as a twelve year old sometimes, where you like you just you just beat your own dick up like it's like r- like red and inflamed and shit. And then I went, and then it was yeah. finally it was the middle of the night, uh, and I remember I went, and I was like tossing and turning. I go okay, I like I'm like I think I tried to beat off. I was like okay, I can't beat off anymore. And I was like, I was like, okay, I need to get baptized. Or I'll go to hell like right now if I die. And I went to, uh, I woke my mom and dad up, and I was, it was like two a.m. I was like, I think I want, I want to get baptized. And they're like, okay, all right, fucking calm the fuck like, down. Like also yeah. take a bath. Yeah, take a breath. Also, yeah, you smell like <laughs> sour cream and onion chips. <laughs> and when you walked in, it looked you looked like powder from the movie Powder. <laughs> Yeah, you left. You got out of bed. And you left a cicada shell of cum that looked like your body in the bed. And then, and then we went the next morning, and I got I got dunked underwater. I was like, okay, clean slate. And I I think I made it two weeks, and literally like my balls were like engorged because you're twelve, you're thirteen years old. You're, I was like, yeah. my balls were like yeah. Fucking looked like Bo is afraid, and I was like, I'm. I think my dick's gonna explode or something. Yeah. I think I'm gonna start coming out of my ass. <laughs> and I remember that. Yeah, first... like as you're getting baptized, you're jacking off underwater. Yeah. 
<laughs> you immediately start jacking I'm off. like, it's an inch and I'm above water, it doesn't count. <laughs> um, in that big uh, fucking master's caddy outfit they baptize you in? Yeah, they put you in a big, uh, something you, you'd like boil crawdads. Uh, like you'd wear it, a, I don't know, it was strange. It was a big rubber like poncho. To be, get baptized Well, in? they got to baptize Biggins in so the tub. So weird. Yeah. So they have, you know, like an XXXL rubber suit. It's very strange. I yeah. got baptized once, but then later on, my mom just told me it was my dad trying to drown me. <laughs> dad got drunk and thought you were the cat. He got a little angry. Uh, so anyway, I, I remember my first Jack back. Post-baptism. Oh wow! Interesting. And it really, it really did feel like the long weekend. Like I was staring down the like the bottom of a glass, and I go, "Well, <laughs> here's to nothing." <laughs> <laughs> Just started to jack it off because mm-hmm. yeah. you're, you're white knuckling being a human yeah. being i was like i need aa for jacking off yeah and then you just you had no one in your life was like hey this is normal just to like have a biological urge to come right this yeah. is encoded in your dna no you no, can't no. beat this no stop hating yourself for being a human being yeah because it was everybody you know you go to church and everybody be like and none of us have ever jacked off and then like <laughs> you know th- their hands are covered in calm and <laughs> I also remember as a kid, somebody made a joke at school where they're like, if you jack off, you'll grow hair on your palms. I didn't mean, oh, it's just like yeah. pubes. Yeah. So I literally thought if I kept jacking off, I would grow like hairy wolf hands. And, and everybody everyone would know. Yeah. Shit. yeah. Everybody would be like, this is the only guy who's ever jacked off. Right. You know? Right. I had weird, like, uh, since no one told us anything, I was like, well, fuck. I remember like uh, jacking off like in the shower once. And I was like, and then I was like, ah, oh, shit. I was like, but we have like a, a sister. What if, yeah. like, uh, I was like, what if the cum, like, touches her foot? And she gets, like, an incest baby it, or something? Yeah, because I'm like, what if it doesn't all go down the drain right. and then, like, it dries? You and think, then, like, yeah. four days later, she takes a shower and it touches her foot and then she's pregnant. You thought getting yeah. pregnant was, like, how a superhero gets his powers. Like, you you fall in calm. Yeah, like, what if, I, what if I come on a bug and then... <laughs> And then a spider eats that bug, yeah. and then it has my cum in its belly, and then it bites my sister, yeah. and then everybody knows I jacked off once. So you're you're in the shower, and you're having to like you squish cum down the drain <laughs> with your foot, yeah. having to like stomp it in like it's a cheese grater. Mm-hmm. You're cleaning, putting salt on it like they're snails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Putting I would put shampoo on it to kill the, kill the sperm. Yeah, what mm-hmm. I thought. I remember when I found out. Uh, my uncle was gay who I you know hung out with like all the time that I didn't know anything so I just thought being gay like they all had AIDS right so I remember <laughs> after a long day when I, I, I remember I you know I'd washed my hands and everything but I was like jacking off and I was like but I did touch my uncle today and I was like and I did I give myself AIDS <laughs> <laughs> for the next week you walked around in that Philadelphia hat <laughs> that big scarf just like, I was broken by it, I was dying of AIDS. Yeah, just singing Bruce Springsteen yeah. to myself. Getting fucked in my ass. No, I, nothing more necessary for a young boy than to jack off, truly. Oh, for sure. Truly, yeah, Couldn't yeah. recommend it enough to mm-hmm. any of the kids listening. Yeah, oh, any, you gotta try it at home. Any 12 year olds in the listening to the podcast, only jack off. Yeah, mm. that's all you should be doing. This is the time you really get to make a fucking meal of it. Yeah. So do it now. And the cums are way better. Yeah. Now it's like I got to do my taxes mm-hmm. first. I got to go mm-hmm. talk to the this accountant. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I you get know? these like numb cums now. It's like I, I would kill to go back to the old cums. <laughs> the kid cums. Oh, the kid cums oh. are insane. Kick comes, I thought I was losing spinal fluid. It was unbelievable. Yeah. It was unbelievable how hard you came. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, it, was like, it was like a BB gun. Like you'd, you'd hit the like ceilings. I think I remember hitting the ceiling a yeah. couple times. That's incredible. Yeah. You'd like come to be like Marty McFly at the beginning of Back to the Future. You're just getting blown back. Yeah. 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 Yeah, now it's just like, sometimes I jack off. I'm like, did I even come? Yeah, I have no clue. I don't know. Did I fake it for I'll, myself? I'll jack off and the cum will come out like an hour later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, while you're making eggs, it just uh, you can feel it slide out of your yeah, penis. Yeah. yeah, it's like a DoorDash delivery. You jack off and you look at your smartwatch and it says like, you know, your cum will be here in 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, you go, all right, well, yeah, like it's it. a yeah. Domino's pizza tracker. <laughs> like, all right, so it's in the base of my urethra <laughs> right now. There's a Chinese guy picking up my <clears throat> cum to take it out. I was so I uh, in uh, fifth grade, the teacher had to tell my mom to start buying me a certain oil for my hands 
<laughs> because, because it was covered in cum. <laughs> it was covered in so much cum. Right. She's like, have him bathe in motor oil to clean it off. In fifth grade, I had no idea what cum or like what my penis even was. Well, because when you first start jacking off, nothing comes out. So you're like, yeah. you, you, you freak out, but then at the same time, you're like, there is no cleanup. This is kind of like, I miss those days, the mm-hmm. no cleanup, when you yeah. just came air. Yeah, it's uh, like having a hotel room versus a uh, being in your home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No cleanup. Yeah. It, oh, the first I remember the first time Tom coming out. I'm like, oh, I I broke it. Mm-hmm. I broke my pee pee. Yeah, <laughs> it exploded. I exploded my pee pee. I remember like my friends would be like, no, I came. It's like you know, it's like all like milky and weird looking, and I was like, fuck, mine was like all clear for a while. Mm-hmm. I remember like having moments where I'd just stare at myself in the mirror, like fucking Johnny Cash and walk the line or whatever, like <laughs> hitting myself, like come on. You yeah. gotta come! I was you, like, even your fucking Korean friends are jizzing. They're telling you right. they got these milky loads. What the fuck is wrong yeah. with you? You clean, you you come clear, and then you just rip your sink out of your wall. <laughs> God damn it, June! I can't do it. Yeah, Devin thinks his family name is on the line. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, I really did. Like, think of your lineage. God damn it, Ooh, man! That was, I was stressed. You did were you stressed out back then? Did you guys have any? I, the reason why I had a had to get special oil for my hands, whatever it was, I don't know what it was, was because I'd wash my hands so much they would bleed. They would scab and then bleed, and blood would go everywhere. And I was getting like blood on my desk. No, I mean I think no, if anything, yeah, like my no. hygiene was uh, not up to par yeah. back then. I don't think I was washing my hands enough. Why would you think my hands were covered in other people's blood? Because yeah. I never washed it off. Yeah. yeah. I, I wonder what just, that was. I think it's just like OCD, like an anxiety disorder type of thing. So I had that when I was like 10? Yeah, you were just dealing with like unbelievable stress and it was coming out, you know. You were turning into like somebody from the master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just had OCD, basically. I didn't know you could like at 10 be like monk. Well, it's because you're like fucking, Tony Shalhoub or something. Parents, you know, you guys were indoctrinated into a weird. Yeah. You it had know. something to do with it we for sure. Cool. Yeah. yeah. We believed like a Pee Wee torture land was real and we would go to <laughs> yeah. it for jacking off. Yeah. So it makes sense you were rubbing bones out yeah. in the sink. Jace was like putting cum in a safety deposit box yeah. because he was afraid of getting baptized I, yeah. and never coming again. Like, <laughs> like he goes to the bank. It's like yeah. a key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like casino. I'm like, this is your cum. You safeguard this cum. You you go I in was, the room, safety deposit box. You open it, and there's just lotion and tissues. Yeah, in there. and then you try and shove it back into your balls so you could come again. Yeah, I'm mailing uh, cum to my uncle upstate over state lines. I'm like, I'm like, don't open it. Keep it somewhere safe. I'm going to come to you. I'm going to ask for this one day. <laughs> Keep it safe. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I remember because I, I to not get caught, I would I would uh, I would jack off through my pants. I only gave myself OTP HJs and it fucked my dick up. My dick to this day, yeah, cause the, my yeah. dick to this day could go f- like if I'm hard, go flat like across my thigh. So you just kind of put, like. Like I would rolling kinda, pin it? I also, I learned, I didn't know how to jack off, so I, I still to this day jack off like overhand. Like you that. do this? I jack off like I'm mentally retarded. Are you kidding me? Crazy. I'm not kidding. You jack off like a prisoner eating. <laughs> and they hold the fork all retarded. I know. Dude, I jack off like I'm eating mac and cheese out of a pot I cooked it in. I know, it's fucked up. I can't do it any other way. I can't do it any other way, dude. You really have never tried other I, did, other I way? didn't I didn't Woo! know. Wow. I've tried as an adult I'm like, okay, it's time to put childish things away. <laughs> and I've tried to throw it underhand. I'm like, this is Man, that's it, crazy. It feels like throwing a baseball left-handed. I'm like, I can't do it. Sure. You, you jack off southpaw. I do. That's I jack crazy. I jack off southpaw and upside down. It's wow. insane. And so now my dick can like fully hard just bend this way like a fucking hinge. Wow. I've legitimately never heard of anyone doing that. I know it's really fucked up. Do you do it with the left hand as well? I don't have to. I don't want to. I don't think I've ever. I don't. I. I I don't know. I think maybe when I'm jacking off, sometimes I've done that like overhand for a second because it makes it kind of feel longer or bigger or something. Or I just get it and I just I just work the tip just like you just work the tip really. I do this like you're taking somebody's. (laughs) <laughs> you do under the legs. Yeah, that yeah. Sweet. Is that the and one mixtape yeah. jacking yeah. off? The, I learned that from Bob Burns. Yeah. yeah, you learned that from the professor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said and one mixtape. My bad. Bob, Bur- Bob Burnquist is also very funny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Ben was jacking off like Rodney Mullen. <laughs> um, I, I learned how to jack off from playing a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. and me doing everything I can. <laughs> <laughs> on a Superman. <laughs> 
Guess I better knock on wood. <laughs> So yeah, you, so you I, do this and then you squeeze it? And I squeeze the tip and that's that's how I jack off. And it actually for a while, because I would I couldn't Man. I also couldn't come because I couldn't take my dick out because I'm having to mm-hmm. you know jack off in our like living room or yeah. whatever at three AM yeah. standing up. Like a dad watching Ford versus Ferrari. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So I would I would hold the cum in. I taught myself to hold the cum in so uh. I wouldn't I would hold it in, and then like two hours later, I would piss it out, and it really it hurt. Fuck! Wow! Every time, and oh. it took me a couple of years to like come normal Man. after a he while. It was like the Challenger explosion. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you jacked Jesus off, Jesus Christ! You were like making grout. <laughs> yeah, my dick was a rock. Tumbler. Yeah, you were using your cum to make t- put tile together. I know it's really fucked. It's Fuck. really fucked up. That's man. crazy. Yeah, wow. it really sucks ass. Yeah, you're also jacking off if you're just doing the tit, like you're taking your dick's blood pressure or whatever. You're just like pumping it up. I know my my left forearm is like so fucking strong. I can't even like bench press because it's. I remember in high school like going to like do my bench press like uh my my max. Yeah. And I went like this, and my le- my left arm like shot, <laughs> you know, like almost like threw the barbell le- yeah. like going my right hands down here just because I was like my left hand was so much stronger. Out the window. Yeah, out just, the window. Just totaling someone's truck. Yeah. And then going and jacking off in the truck. <laughs> Does your dick curve to the left? Yeah, it curves to the left. It's come from jacking off, I think. Is it really? I think all dicks that curve to the left could be helped out if you... you it means you never jacked off left-handed. Yeah, you gotta go the other way. Which I no, did but later I don't on. jack off like that. I tried jacking off. I jack off. off like that. Right, no, I know, but the, the, your, your, your oh, right... Maybe my dick goes that way, Your actually. right palm when you're... <laughs> When you're jacking but off, it's like, let me get I think it's quick. I think it's pushing. I think it's over time making it lefty. It's twisting. It's twisting it to the left. Twisting it. So yeah. you have to use your left hand to even out curvature. But it also goes up. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, hopefully. Yeah, Jesus <laughs> Christ. What? Well, some guys get hard like down. Down. Right? I I also get hard kind of down. Sure. I mean, I, yeah. I get hard every which way. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. I think when they. Sorry, I didn't mean to insult your intelligence. When they no. curve to the left, you could even it out. But you obviously never had a left, and that's why you know that's mm-hmm. that's that's why you're you're predictable on defense. <laughs> yeah, you're like the Jalen Brown of jacking <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm guarding. I'm like, he's got no left hand. Make him go left. I think I curve that way. I think I I think I point to the west. Fine points a little to the left. Like a little to the left. Yeah. I think it's like a flower. Like it grew. Like depending on how I slept as a kid, it grows toward the sun. Yeah. So I think I probably slept my head in the south, and then it would in the morning it would go east. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I think that's what happened. Crazy, wild, man. You I keep, also you never fuck their dicks up. Though, I also for real. never have a bigger hard on than in like the minute I wake up. Oh from yeah, some deranged dream where like you know a guy made of like smuckers was like chasing me, and for whatever reason I'm hard as a rock. Mm-hmm. I know I, I have like yeah. dreams that like my dad died, and I'm like wake up hard. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I think I used to uh, the tip of my dick was more fucked up because I didn't even know to like master. I would masturbate with like shampoo. I didn't even know what was going. Yeah, on. so it was getting all dried out. And yeah, weird. yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think my dick it got less fucked up. Oh, like the cells regenerated and it got less like shaved. It got less whittled down and it ballooned back up. And it's mm. nice and uh, sure. it's nice and fluffy again. Nice, good, good. So that was good. good. I was worried it would kind of be because like when I was like twenty, it was like kind of. It looked like it came back from a war, and sure. it was really fucked up, and re- kind of retired. You yeah, know that before like, and after picture of a guy going into World War One. Yeah, yeah, your dick looked like Nate Diaz's face. <laughs> yeah, your dick was going Riverside, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> or what stupid town is he from? Of uh, Stockton. Stockton, Stockton bitch. bitch. The worst city to live in on <laughs> earth, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's my. I'm Ben's dick. I'm from Shithole, California. I'm from. Fuck you. I'm from hell. On Earth, California. <laughs> my community was destroyed by mass, motherfucker. I don't give a shit. I'll get my ass beat by Jake Paul. Mm. It is. You know what's funny about every time? Because I don't really watch those fights, but every time I hear like they're like Nate Diaz lost, I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, I could probably kick his ass. <laughs> yeah. Anytime I hear of a guy losing, I'm like, yeah, I could have. Yeah. It's like a piano. Everyone thinks they could just play a piano in a room. Kinda, you look yeah. at a piano, and go, who the fuck can't play that? Yeah. Right. Just fucking start fucking playing away. Just do you just, go, you like, fucking use your fucking hands. Mm-hmm. You know. But yeah, no, Nate Diaz would kill you <laughs> no, and then he'd, rape he'd you. Clearly, kill me. <laughs> he, he, and he would rape you to make a point. <laughs> yeah. <okay. laughs> 
it'd be like in, in the middle of the octagon and like Joe Rogan's just like oh, 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 and he's like peeling your shorts down and pressing your ass up like prone boning you yeah Rogan's just fucking jacking off like this <laughs> Jacking off his weird dick. Yeah, Rogan's got like a marine uh, pocket pussy mm. that he got from some guy who died in Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah, it's called it's called Pussy Skull it's Fucker a, Pussies. It's a lone survivor pocket pussy. Yeah, this is the this is the pocket pussy Marcus Luttrell used to hide in the woods and jack <laughs> off because none of that yeah. stuff was real. He yeah, actually dude, did. The ancient Romans actually used to fuck tree bark and that's how they jack <laughs> off. So I did that because it's not retarded. To live like you lived 4,000 years ago, that actually doesn't suck ass. Yeah. Uh, I, I live like an ancient Spartan and then I drive my Tesla Super XL. By the way, I want to go on record saying this. I've done the research on this. Early man, like Stone Age man, did not just eat meat. They actually mostly forage and ate like berries, berries. and weird little nuts. They would, and yeah. seeds they would, they would and stuff. get lucky to find yes. get a kill and then eat meat here and there. They would there. use a lot of energy to but find it'd meat. It would probably be like months on end mm-hmm. of just berries yeah. and plants. Yeah. I mean, and it just, I mean, they didn't have a fridge, yeah. so it wasn't like they're like they're waking up at 8 a.m. and they're like, oh, let's go, let's go murder a bear so I can eat breakfast. <laughs> yeah. You know? No, they're like, yeah, here's a fucking mushroom and a stupid banana mm. yeah. I'm going to jack off with. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so so. I, just, I just wanted to go on record. Oh, saying, yeah, well, thank God you got that out. There. I mean, I looked into a documentary. They were like good at like making weird little like mustard spices and making salads and stuff. Like they were, they were making like salads. Yeah, they yeah. were making like Chinese chicken salad <laughs> yeah. and stuff. They were like frying wonton skins. Yeah, it was a caveman going MSG. Put the MSG in. <laughs> it give me a headache. <laughs> Yay! Guys, this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Yay! Guys, let's <laughs> let's talk about sex. Summer is around the corner. Do you want to bring the heat in the bedroom? Well, now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up, listen up to bluechew.com. Blue eh? Chew. Yes, that's right, Ben. Eh? That's right. <laughs> Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. Yeah, but so if you want to fuck your wife, you can put Blue Chew in a little piece of cheese and feed it to yourself. But, but she's pregnant, so why would I fuck her? Oh, that's a good point. Well, if you want to cheat on your wife, use okay. Blue Chew to do it. Okay. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Wow. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA, which is the only country I respect, mm-hmm. and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Does it work? Don't think you need it? Try it free for a month and see. Uh, You're going to love it. Does it work? Uh, my wife's five months pregnant, and I haven't even had sex with her before. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I think it works. If it wasn't for Blue Chew, the guy who fucks Ben's wife could have never got her pregnant. Right. So, there you go. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And by the way, they've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code LEMON at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code LEMON to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information, and we thank BlueChew for sponsoring the podcast. Thank you, BlueChew. Thank you, BlueChew. Oh, man. Speaking of MSG, that fucking Chinese place we went to earlier, holy shit. And we, we really nailed it. We nailed it. It was great. I but told you. We sat down. I said, gentlemen, you're about to see a perfect game. <laughs> we did. I we, don't know if you've ever seen a perfect game We before. played a perfect game. I got to say, we did all our orders, and the Asian guy who looked like he was from Star Wars came out. <laughs> and like, you know, Devin got like the eggplant. I went, I went hack with the sweet and sour chicken, but that's what I do. You mm-hmm. got the what did you get? I and got, like customized his order. I got the honey chicken. I added peanuts, and mm-hmm. quite frankly, I mean, there were little slices of cut apple in there, which wasn't even in the description. But I wasn't mad. That's I th- fascinating. Yeah, and I think we said like the guy, the guy went in the back and goes, "Yeah, did the peanuts? He's a he's one. Of the, he's a good one. He's a pro. He's a pro." Mm-hmm. And we got the lo mein, which just put us out. 
combination low man. It was like eating sleep, mm-hmm. you know. And then, but it's one of those Chinese places. Like it was fantastic. Like it's so saucy, and you kind of feel like you have like a heart murmur like halfway through your meal. You're mm-hmm. like, this is good Chinese. Ben was, yeah. We also had to, we had to write a sketch today, and Ben was like, "Let's bring. I'm going to bring my laptop to the Chinese restaurant so we could write a sketch." <laughs> yeah. Which thankfully we never because we walked and we're like, "This is the most retarded." We were walking thing we've in, ever. and Ben's like, "God, oh, I forgot the laptop," and I was like, "That's just some gay shit people in LA do. They always say they're going to go write something at a place." Yeah. You know. Like we like never do that. Yeah, like you've got one egg roll, like a cigar, and you're just <laughs> like Trumbo, just yeah. typing away. You're like, okay, so what if the retarded guy then he eats his own dick? <laughs> Let me put that in the skit. What if, I will one day, we're going to go write a sketch there. I'm going to bring my typewriter. Sure. <laughs> and then he's, he's going to come up and he goes, Asura, you are too gay <laughs> to eat here. We, we ask that you leave for being gay. My uh, my father he uh, he wants to poison your food. Yeah, <laughs> you must leave now. My grandfather, who is a big turtle, said, <laughs> "Look at this David Lynch motherfucker." <laughs> Thinks he's at Bob's Big Boy right now, writing some erotic piece of shit. Oh fuck! I'm sorry. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Yeah, go go no, check go off, no, dude. We're only doing our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope Devin's going in there to jack off real quick. Yeah, because he, he's all horned up. He's all horned up talking about his uh, hog. People do. I mean, as much as we joke about it, unfortunately, kids do fuck up their dick. And there should be... You know, there has to be fair airtime on TV where... Uh, like, it's it's the, it's the like the FTC ruled uh, some sort of fair airtime thing where, like, there has to be a certain number of child programs aired from, like... Mm-hmm. Right after school hours and before school hours, so that they play like uh, Arthur and right. like uh, old Mister Rogers stuff, and like you know, uh, right? Coco so kids, Melon. kids aren't coming home from school and watching like cops' biggest titties edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah which would make the the networks a lot more money. Of so course, they uh, they have to be handcuffed to play something that a, a six year old can watch. Yeah, they really should have PSAs during those hours. Teaching kids how to jack off. Yeah, I think they should have a. It's a the more you know star, and then Louis C.K. walks on screen. He goes, "All right, here's how you jack off your fat retarded dick." My daughters hate me because I jacked off my retarded mm-hmm. dick. He's like, "So which you, you fucking you just sit on the goddamn fucking uh, toilet and you fucking your cocks it's it's fucking small and it sucks and it sucks and it fucking sucks and your balls are so low they get in the water cuz you fucking suck and you should kill yourself and you're gonna you're just you're gonna take a shit so just start shitting anyway and cuz you're gonna shit and jack off and come uh, uh, Emma. jesus Oh my good lord! Uh, we were saying that there should be PSAs for to teach people how to kids how to jack off like on PBS, so they don't fuck their dicks up when they're kids. Yeah, like it's like I'm just a bill, like that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Schoolhouse, 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 yeah, schoolhouse, schoolhouse cock, schoolhouse cock. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There should yeah. be little musicals teaching you how to yeah. masturbate properly, so you don't kind of ruin your mm-hmm. life. I'm mm-hmm. just a guy. Sometimes you gotta use the left hand for even out curvature. You don't wanna yeah. be a freak in the future. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes you'll get pants during gym and everyone will make fun of your curvy cock. <laughs> and that's when you take a gun and make your classmates pay. And then you go home, you <laughs> grab your daddy's hunting rifle, you come back to school and you shoot them all up. <laughs> uh, I'm just a cock. I'm just a cock. Yes, I'm only, and I need lotion on my cock. Cause you'll wear out your skin and make your shit all weird. Mm. Find the kid with the Bang Bros password. <laughs> uh, That's all we 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 had kids at school literally selling Bang Bros passwords like they were yeah, like, like it's fentanyl. Yeah, like it was like all the presidents mad. Like we'd be in the fucking parking lot. He's like, you got the you got the money, yeah. You you handing him twelve dollars <laughs> yeah. in a suitcase? Like he placed me on the pines. Like you got my Bang Bros password? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You just hand you a piece of paper that says Alligator Five. Right. You're like, thanks, thanks. <laughs> you got my Gianna Michaels Bang Bang Bus clip? Yes. <laughs> I have heard of kids who have printed out porn and like sold it at their school, like back in the day. Like a uh, like, like during the images. dial like during the dial up yeah. days. Yeah, I, I had mm-hmm. a, I had a friend who like had he had like a like a treasure box like under his bunk bed, and it was it was just it had one 
folded piece of paper that was it, he had just went on Google and he typed in tits and then he, <laughs> he printed that out in color on his parents printer and he had it and it, he had used it for years and years mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah the T-I-T-S that's all he typed he in. just typed in tits yeah well I also because our my mom was good with computers so to get around that I would I, 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 I googled big boobs and I got caught yeah and uh, I've talked about that so after that to get away with it I would google Lindsay Lohan big and then that way, if I was ever confronted, I was like, I was seeing what how healthy she is now. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't looking for big, juicy tits mm-hmm. and mean girls. Yep. I was seeing how tall she was. Yeah. I also remember like when Jessica Simpson got pregnant, I was like, that really awakened something inside of me. There was that cover of like... Uh, yeah, because her tits got really big. There was like, yeah, a cover mm-hmm. of like Vanity Fair, Good Housekeeping, where she was like pregnant and naked. And I was like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's happening to me right now. <laughs> I think I want to fuck this pregnant titty lady. Yep. Yeah. Be like, yeah. Really, but she looks like a great big fat guy. Yeah. I'm like, uh, but I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Turned into Trump. And then I started having sex for the first time. I was like, oh, I get it. I totally get it. I now. get it now. Yeah. It all makes sense. Mm-hmm. When she was in Dukes of Hazard, that was like, it helped out a lot of <sighs> young. Young youngins. I, well, everybody because of that, everybody wanted soapy boobs. Yeah, yeah, and the soapy boobs were big. Soapy boobs were a huge, yeah. huge thing back then. That mm-hmm. was the thing. It's like, dude, the hottest thing a woman can do is wash a car. Yeah, that's hot as shit. No, like you were a teen boy, you just wanted to like eat like a six dollar burger and get sucked off. <laughs> That was like based on Carl's I, Jr. commercials. I think bacon burger. Yeah. You remember Carl's Jr. commercials back then? They were like sexual. Like they'd fuck the burger, basically. Mm-hmm. It'd be like a guy and the, the noises, like the ADR that they did for the burger juices falling out and stuff, it mm-hmm. was so sexual for a fucking burger. So as a fat kid, then they add tits, they add Paris Hilton or something, and you're like, oh, this is unbelievable. I'm coming every which way now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was like Paris Hilton like 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 slapping the burger on her face. Mm-hmm. Like it was a like cock. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah hot J- as hell. Jack in the Box commercials was like you could just eat that guy's pussy. Yeah. The the Jack in the Box the guy. The Jack in the Box guy would come in with the business suit and he would just he would take off his tie and his suit and he'd have a big pussy. Yeah. He looked like Buck Angel, basically. <laughs> yeah. Jack in the Box. The Jack and Lux guy was Buck Angel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was just a little fat kid eating that guy's pussy. Yeah. You know? he it was just say hey. Jack in the Box. Yeah. Hey, hey. We take EBT. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They're the only people that advertise it, by the way, that yeah. I see in LA. I have talked about I've driven by Jack in the Box. It's like we don't, it's like, don't worry, Pores. We we'll st- we got you. Yeah, they take yeah. yeah. Don't we'll, worry, Pores, we'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> we'll kill you. We'll do it to you quick. We'll do it to you quick. Jack in the Box will be like, now taking Monopoly money. <laughs> <laughs> Come on yeah. down. Jack in the box is like now accepting crack as yeah. payment. Mm. No worries. Yep. Jack in the box was funny. They used to. I used to have a friend that fucking. <laughs> he would go to Jack in the box every day, and we used to. Make fun <laughs> That's of the, so fucked up. All he did was order the the, the, the cheesecake. <laughs> is he alive? <laughs> he's, he's somehow. Wait, alive. he would order one cheesecake order, and leave. He'd order one cheesecake, and we'd all shit all over him. Dude, that's worse than ordering like five burgers yeah, at once. It's somehow more demented to mm-hmm. wait in line and be like, um, one cheesecake, please. <laughs> like you're like in Italy or the fuck it. Like you're yeah, going like you're to... an old Jewish man getting his bagel yeah, every morning at it, the diner. Oh, it was so deranged. One cheesecake. <laughs> Cake. Wow. Yeah. You know why I stopped getting the Oreo milkshake there? Because that kind of became a thing for me for a minute. Oh, I love those things. They're like 1,800 calories. Yeah. Yeah. It's like over yeah. your caloric Jack intake in the for the day is with the one, one shake. Jack in the Box is the one where if you get like the buttery Jack, I think it's somehow 1,900 calories. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. the bread is like made of butter. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I mean, the Oreo cheesecake, it's like you're eating plaster. The last time I went inside of a Jack in the Box, literally it was like I, it was a skate park. Like people are <laughs> people are grinding like yeah. on the it cashier's register. It looked like Walter register. White's pool at the end. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, people are graffitiing the fry later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a big fat Latina manager, and then like she turns, and someone is tagging her back with graffiti. <laughs> Yeah. They're just tagging gang signs right. on her on her on her back. Yeah, she's like, "Well, I'm going to jag in the and she pulls out a gun and shoots you. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, yeah. It's like Jack in the Box. They they do just hire like Latina moms like in bear suits now to survive the they're shifts the only, there. Yeah. They're the only people that could run that thing. Yeah, you you don't you got, dude. You got no one else to run that thing. 
Yeah, teenagers? What are you talking about? You need a 45-year-old Latina lesbian. Mm-hmm. She's got to be pushing 300, preferably over. Yeah. Because otherwise because otherwise you're going to get you're going to get knocked over. You're going to get swirlied in the air fryer. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, you need a woman with a stable base is mm-hmm. what you're saying. Yeah. Short haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dollar store general j- hair gel. Yeah, you got to they got to be you got to be a fat dyke to work at Jack in the Box. <laughs> Let's cut the bullshit. Can we like get cut to the chase here? You need an orange is the new black type yes. of bitch. You, yeah. need the, you need the lady from she runs the McDonald's like a fucking Navy. Yes, mean. that lady. Yeah. Yeah, 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 You literally need that woman. You need that woman. Yeah, yeah Jack in the Box, they don't fuck around. Yeah. A, a woman who like, loves visors. A woman's like, I have giant tits and I dress like a bad mag- magician from the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> that was making me laugh. So yesterday you texted me that every skinny lesbian woman wants to date a teamster yes <laughs> that all, what you said? all attractive lesbians they have this period of time where they date like a 400 pound woman that just looks like a teamster yeah yeah and you're just confused you're like why don't you just fuck a man retard <laughs> makes no sense <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a lipstick lesbian and then Tony Soprano with like slightly longer hair. Yes. Uh, yeah, yes. Oh uh, shit! And they're like, I don't. He's a, he's. They're more emotional. <laughs> they're more emotionally right. perceptive. Yeah, they're like they still beat the shit out of me, but like worse. Yeah, they're not as good. They're a little at weaker. It. So, you know, the domestic yeah. violence rates amongst lesbians is like oh, higher than yeah. straight it's like couples. 100%. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I you know. I had that thing with this lesbian for a little bit, and all the fucking women that she was uh, uh, going on going out with instead of me, where all they fucking they look like Philip Seymour Hoffman. <laughs> they look like Philip Seymour Hoffman with like a cholo mm. haircut, and they're all doing dog fighting. Like they all have pit bulls. They like uh, it's like Pokemon for them. Well, that's because when they go out in the park and lesbians well, eventually have their dogs they do want to have sex death. with a man, and so they fuck their pit bull. That is it. It is funny though, because like when they're dating like a teamster type of fat lesbian lady, mm. it's like. Just fuck a guy named Fat Sal. Right? Yes. Fuck like, a guy literally. named yeah. after the establishment. Don't date a guy who looks like fat Quentin Tarantino with like a bowler shirt and a Kangol cap <laughs> on backwards. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Because because uh, they are they probably getting fucked with a strap on by the lady that looks like a fucking dude. So just fuck a dude. Was always kind of confused by the lesbian strap on thing, but I, maybe I'm being ignorant. But always confused by that because they still need a dick, ultimately. At the mm. end of the day, but then, yeah. then checkmate lesbian. Checkmate. <laughs> Have you guys heard this whole thing about like women can't come with a penis inside them? They. That's all they do. No, that's they, what your they, wife tells you. They make. Don't us. worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. No, I feel like women can come. They, they, they can they come. hundred percent can. But I've heard rumors where they're like, you know, ninety-five percent of women can't come by having a penis yeah, inside them. And, and you know, they can only come from exterior. There's some truth to that, I imagine. But also, that's just women trying to play into the fact that they are constantly miserable and they're broken <laughs> beings that will never, ever, really, truly fit in on this planet. Yeah. Or make any sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They, well, well, they can never truly live the hero's journey because to live the hero's journey, you have to soar like an eagle, right? You have to, yeah. you have to take flight. You have to become another thing. You have to ascend, and they're tethered to the earth because they have to. Uh, they're mother nature, you know. They have yes. to. They have to bear uh, fruit. They have to bear offspring. They can't just be like, you know. Every time everybody's like, uh, they're like, "What about Joan of Arc?" I'm like, she was basically a dude. Mm-hmm. Joan of Arc was like. She looked like Pigpen. Also, right. she had schizophrenia. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Any other time period, she would have been in Central Park getting shit on by birds. <laughs> Joan of yeah, Arc. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's the pigeon lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Home Alone. I've always felt bad for guys who did because there's some women who can't, who have never come, and those they women, can't make themselves come. I didn't. I want to like take a couple steps back. <laughs> sure, though. sure. It also goes to prove sure. how incredible women are that they a lot of them get nothing out of nothing, sex, and I they know. just do it like they're fucking. Like they're fucking, you know, putting a bandage on their husband's wound. Right now, like it's just they're just doing it for the love of, of like the, us. Like they're milking the cow. Yep. They just want to keep everyone happy. Exactly. Mm. They're just collecting the eggs from right. the from the hen house. Yeah. I just like always feel bit for the guy where you're like you come and then like every time every time in your whole lifetime you have sex she's just like great job. Yeah. All great. right. I think I'm done. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's like you can go down on me. Nothing's gonna happen. But you know. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it. And this whole idea that we're supposed to devote our lives to figuring out the fucking GTA cheat code to making them come is is ridiculous. We got we got stuff to build, sweetheart. <laughs> Sorry. 
You ever Sorry, seen Manhattan? Got... How do you think that was built? What, for men trying to make figure out how to make you come? Yeah, no, they're yeah. nutting quick and they're fucking getting back onto the scaffold. Yeah, I can't come. I got to go eat lunch on a big steel beam <laughs> later. <laughs> now make my sandwich. Put it in a big metal box. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You dumb whore. There's a thing. Yeah. I bet like 60% of women like can't really come that easily. Yeah, I think it's probably like 20, 30% or something that, like that. That sounds yeah. like a, a personal problem. Yeah. That's what I say. That's what I say. Maybe they're not in tune with themselves, so they don't know how to like right. orgasm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're always like, yeah, when you fuck a woman and she doesn't come, you're like, hey, got mine. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry you suck. Sorry. <laughs> I got my bag. I, I'm really good at coming. Guess you aren't. My apologies. <laughs> it's weird that you don't shoot something out like I do. It's not obvious. So who the fuck ever knows? Maybe step your game at, bitch. Yeah. You guys like, come, they come and like side themselves. Mm. They like, they come and they just kind of wiggle and you go, well, but where's the stuff? Mm. I know you're wet, but, yeah. but the, you're wet. They, they're always wet. Show me the hot, weird stuff. Show me the stuff. <laughs> shoot it. You don't shoot it. It's all, it's, it needs to be shot. I cool. never, I never buy the whole they're wet thing. I'm like that could just yeah, be I know. Pee-pee. What even is that? It could be pee. Oh, did, could be are pee-pee. you wet? Oh, did, are you wet? Did you piss yourself, little girl? Did you piss yourself, sweetheart? Huh? What are you, you, an old man? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> are you wet? No, I know that old trick. <laughs> yeah, you, you pissed yourself, yeah, sweetheart. Yeah, my grandfather's wet too because he has a big diaper on. <laughs> he shits and pisses himself yeah. all day. <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> That's you. Yeah. <laughs> Get faced. <laughs> just a woman going, where, baby, where are you going? I didn't come yet. And you just go, ah, sucks to suck. <laughs> you turn. And you just yeah. strut out of you the go. room. Later, Haiti. <laughs> yeah. I got to go to like IGN.com yeah. cheat codes to figure out how to make this fucking miserable bitch come. Mm-hmm. You go later, Haiti, and then go get on like a scooter and like just grind down your stairs. Get the hell out of there. The uh, the porn star lady uh, who did uh, April yes who was very lovely she did the mm-hmm. we all made her come <laughs> yeah we all made yeah. her come I think she said something like uh, every guy should do like twenty to thirty minutes of uh, foreplay foreplay right. before yeah. like with their tongue before. But it's like once again, yeah. we got Before, we right. got places to go, people mm-hmm. to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, here's here's my foreplay. I cashed the rent check this month. <laughs> <laughs> How about that for my foreplay, sweetheart? Yeah. See that roof over here? That's foreplay right there. Huh? See that? Fuck you. Yeah. Did you fix the fucking doorknob? <laughs> mm-hmm. There's your foreplay. And I agree. Right. Do you know how long it took me to assemble that shelf you bought? Off of Amazon? That's that's foreplay. Yeah, I agree. No, yeah. I don't know. No. Well, you guys will realize once you get a woman pregnant that that's kind of all they want. Yeah. You you get them pregnant and then you kind of like, you're like looking at them, or like you're just eating your chicken and, and like green beans and like you just look at them from across the table as they're eating quietly and you're like, well, that's all you wanted. Mm-hmm. That's all you wanted. You got, you got yours now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well played. Mm-hmm. I'm swirling wine. I'm like, well played, yeah. you cocksucker. Yeah. yeah, it's a long chess match, and you checked me. <laughs> you checked me, but the the battle is not yet done. <laughs> you may up. have won the battle, but you have not won the war. Wait until I turn fifty and start fucking the nanny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I hope I turn into that type of family, though. I want to become like the American Beauty guy, like listening to Lawrence Welk. With his wife and, yeah. the, and the daughter who just hates his guts. You want to become the guy who makes him not getting pussy everyone else's problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any dinner party you go to, everyone knows you're not getting it in. Yeah. Can, yeah. can I tell you like a big loser guy fantasy of mine too? Of course. Sure. I've kind of wanted at some point in my life for everything to go to like shit where I just like, I really don't, because I don't care about anything now, but like on a level where I don't even care if I'm like dead. Mm-hmm. And I want to become the guy who gets super into weed, like crazy, crazy into weed. Mm. That movie really does something for me, where he's working out in the garage. He's listening to like the Doors or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, befriends a teenage boy next door who just films bugs with his camera mm-hmm. and right. just smokes shit loads of weed. But you want to get into weed in, in a guy who's like, that's good grass. That guy sells me good grass. I want to be yeah, able to yeah, yeah. smoke because I, I think the secret to really enjoying weed is not caring if the if you get too high that the devil comes in the front door. 
And yeah. so that it's like the kind of thing you welcome where you just get really into top shelf weed and you smoke it constantly and get really yeah. jacked. Because you're like, well, you know, if I get too high, I also want to die. So who gives a shit? Yeah. Yeah. My life sucks anyway. Yeah, you have to have given up, and then the stress doesn't eat you alive when you do smoke weed. Like exactly. The, the anxiety. Because I imagine it's amazing. Oh, it's great. When you feel like you don't give a fuck about anything and you're high, it's awesome. You're just yeah. high. I do want to be, like, I'm sober now. I do want to become a big Lebowski high guy mm. in my older age. I want to be completely horseshoe bald and have a ponytail <laughs> and a long beard, and I'm just yeah. smoking weed in public, and I go, man, Arcade Fire 2013, that was a concert, man. Yeah. That was a, and I'm a, you mm. pull back. I'm on a bench by myself, talking to nobody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like that would rule. You would, you'd be great at that. I really want to become the guy who like uh, finds out he's gay, mm-hmm. and then instead of just embracing that, I just smoke a lot of weed and work out <laughs> in the garage. That's See, who I want to be. I want to become a guy. I just I completely destroy my marriage out of panicking that it's too good, and then I'm just a I'm just a 55 year old just. Plowing nineteen-year-olds mm, over and over yeah, again, yeah, just waiting to catch a me too, yeah, out of nowhere. Because we do get better. We're we're fine. Yeah, like I we, want, we start looking like yeah, still sexy. I so. want every time I get pussy, it becomes something somebody talks about in therapy. One day is having sex with me. Yeah, when and they realize they're like, oh, I wanted to fuck my dad, so I dated this fifty-five-year-old man at nineteen for mm. like four months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to do weird Jonah Hill? Like psychological games. Oh ladies. yeah, like really get a girl before she's been psychologically tortured by a guy, so she doesn't know the tricks yet. So I can really, you know, uh-huh. get him in a, in a Three Stooges mage uh-huh. maze of uh-huh. like yeah. deception. I'm oh. catching what you're throwing out there. Yeah. You're talking about T-ball here. Oh, I'm putting talking, it right on the peg. I'm and talking just about over the fence, one after the other. Home yeah. run derby. Yeah, when when the when all, they've thrown four balls and the old the coach comes out and gives you a soft <laughs> toss <laughs> in little league. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's why. And then just me, just boom, just 19 year old after 19 yeah. year old. Can yeah. I say I would love that for you? Actually, I think it's going to be great. Honestly, it's a great arc. I think I think 20 years from now I'm going to be like, well, I wanted to kill myself for so long, but now I get all this sweet sweet puss. Yeah, so. I feel great. Unfortunately, yeah. I see myself becoming the guy who uh, digs a big hole somewhere. What's a big hole? You uh, dig a big I hole. I dig a big oh, hole. Oh, dig a big hole. What'd okay. You say? Just move on. All right. Well. So you want to dig a big hole? I'm thinking I might have the arc where I become like uh, I build like some clover filled uh, lane type of uh, what was the movie with John, John Goodman, Goodman? The second one, yeah, like a uh, doomsday bunker. Yeah, where I put basically put like a, a train car in the ground, like take shelter style, mm-hmm. and I just you know put like playstations in there and like have distilled water and stuff like that yeah I, I you go know, i get really into like uh i don't know botany and shit so in your fantasy there's no sex going on you're just digging holes and putting trains in them and in mm-hmm. jason i's fantasy we are still like railing women yeah. at our older age oh we are i've got a yeah. pump installed and in we're my dick drinking so I can get we're hard. smoking weed mm-hmm. we're, we're we're hurting lives yeah. but we don't really know about it because i'm too old to give a i don't yeah. know you're, there's a big I'm, age difference i'm there. in a i'm in a i never had kids so i'm in a lambo drunk driving away from the usc dormitory yes because i just Drop my girlfriend off. Yeah, after making her suck me and, off in my Lambo. And you are digging That's holes right. and putting toy trains. And you know in. why? And you know why? Because fucking is for retards. Mm-hmm. It is. I and I, I will die on that. Hill. I do fully agree with it's that. It's retarded. I think it's, it's the most retards. It's the most overrated thing in our culture. Mm-hmm. And it's 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 they everyone's obsessed with it. And mm-hmm. it's a half a second feeling. I truly, yeah. I truly get off more from jacking off than the fucking. Oh, me too. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be in a situation where I'm about to fuck, leave, and then go jack off to the idea of me having sex. Mm-hmm. I know, but once you yeah. become married, you can't jack off anymore. You know that. That's why you got to build that man cave. No, I jacked on. off like four times in like five years. Are you serious? Well, when am I going to jack off? I don't know. Fucking, you're, you're alone all the all time. Day. What are you doing? What yeah. are you talking I'm, about? I'm writing. You have <laughs> for sure. I am writing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just masturbating. Uh-huh. Well, we know why you never buy white out. <laughs> Yeah, you're just rubbing your dick across the words. Yeah. Ben's shoving his balls in the mm. thing and just going. I get to like jack off in a hotel room or something like that. It's like fun I'm on the to road. conquer a new land when yeah. you jack off in it. Oh, to be like, oh, I jacked off in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I love nice. that shit. Yeah. I love that shit. Putting a, big, nice. a pin on a map at your house. <laughs> yeah. Jacked yep. off here, fuck face. Mm hmm. Yeah. I knew a guy, by the way, who I would ask him, I was because he was married for like fifteen years. I'm like, Do you jack off? Because they both like worked from home. And he told me that he just hated his wife and he would just be like, I'm gonna I'm gonna masturbate to porn right now and she'd be like, All right, whatever. 
and then he would just turn his chair around with his laptop like on his knees and he would just jack off in front of her with the volume up oh, Dude, I, I would they're I, divorced now yeah of course <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. they lived in a one bedroom and he would just like he's yeah. like yeah i like porn so well, you know i don't know well, do you, do you, I mean, you should be jacking off more though it's good for your prostate I'm yeah, you fucking. actually you actually get fucked you fuck up every day. I don't fuck every day. Well, you should jack off on the days you don't fuck. Those balls should always be half full. <laughs> but where? I mean, there's. I guess where? What if are you, you talking about? Where your I, house is huge. Do you want me to come in here and just like stand yeah, in the middle? I don't middle? give a fuck. I used to. You gotta figure I, it out. Figure it out, bitch. I've given my computer to my friends. Like, oh yeah, sure, check your, do your whatever. I'd be like, I jacked off on it like literally ten minutes ago. Yeah. You, what is this? <laughs> I don't give yeah. a fuck. Well, this isn't welfare. Figure it Fucking out. Fucking, we're mad. Jacking off is we're capitalism. Make like, it happen. I shake hands with people all the time. I'm like, this probably come in that hand. I literally have been jacking it all day. What do you yeah. want out of me? I've, ja- I've jacked off in bathrooms <laughs> at work. I fi- you figure it you out. Do it. Should I just be like, hey, honey, I'm gonna. Uh, we're out of. Uh, Cinnamon. I'm gonna go to the Kroger real quick, and I just yeah. and then yeah. I just get in the car and I just with my pants down to my knees as I'm yes. driving, just jacking. If off. Katie yes. says she's going out to get to get the to take the dogs on a walk, and you know she takes five minute walks, make it a fun little game. See if you could just come as quick as possible, yeah. right in between that time. It's just, awesome. Yeah, peering between the blinds to see if she's like yeah. coming back. <laughs> it's the little things in life, like fucking Norman Bates jacking off. Yeah. Mm. Do it like a, like a security alarm is about no, to no, no. go off in a minute if you don't Here, come. Here's what I like to do. I like to lay I like to lay on the, a cold floor in the house and read Moby Dick. Mm. <laughs> you jack off like a reptile. <laughs> you got to turn a heat yeah, lamp yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, I got to jack off in a big terrarium with a really big rock and a giant cactus and listen, I, I pretend I'm a lizard. That's what I told my I told my baby girl I go, "Listen, <laughs> the king jacks off whatever he wants." <laughs> Let's get first things fucking last. First things fucking last. Dude, I'm like, I'll put shit in the microwave for two minutes. I'll jack off in that amount of time. Mm. Dude, I've, wait, I've waited for water to boil and I've jacked off before <laughs> it started bubbling. Mm. Figure it out. Fucking do it. Get your shit together, You dude. owe it to your prostate. You're getting older. If you started yeah. coming every day, I guarantee you would start being normal again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. maybe you're right. I, I take uh, like medicine for my prostate. Why? Uh, sometimes my dick hurts when I come. That doesn't that happen to everybody. Doesn't happen to me. Like like after like an hour after like it, your dick hurts or you just kind of feel empty. No, sometimes my dick like stings like an hour after I come. I mean that's happened. Oh, that that there. happens. Yeah, that happens. I looked it up. It's a thing where like cum goes back up inside your penis or something. Yeah, What's wrong it's, with it's that? a retrograde ejaculation. Yeah, I, yeah, get, yeah. I get that from time. We to all time. get that here and yeah. there. Yeah, but when I eat like I eat a lot of spicy foods and drink coffee, so sometimes that also doesn't. Do you think that the peppers come out of your cum? I looked it up. That's what it says. <laughs> the spicy like, food has something to do with yeah. your cum. Go- I'm spicy. Uh, I'm uh, I'm coming capsa- uh, capsaicin. Ooh. What is it? I didn't know you were such a spicy Latino. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. But if I don't eat that spicy of food, it doesn't happen to me. Okay. And once I switch to tea from coffee, it doesn't really happen that much. And it's not like this happened every time I came, but it would just happen every now you and see, then. You see, you're doing this thing, It ruined ben. my night, though. Ben, I love you. You're doing this thing with We your love health. you to death, but Devin's right. You Go ahead. You need to listen to me, yeah. Jace. You're doing this thing where you're going to be miserable because you like you think you figured out how to have like a perfect day with your health. Mm-hmm. There is no perfect way, and you're going to be the guy that ruins everyone's fun time mm-hmm. because you you eat, you go, oh, I feel bad. I don't usually eat chocolate cake past 8.45 p.m. Mm-hmm. And everyone has to go, like, I guess that's a thing you've yeah. invented in you your and, mind, you and, and now Katie, you're miserable. You and Katie eat this weird bird food bullshit. Yes. Uh, I was watching the dogs last week. I went... And they had a full stock, like stocked grocery. I didn't mm. know what I could eat. I literally pulled out a milk thing and had curds in it. Yeah. I didn't know if it was supposed to be yeah, like it's that supposed or not. To be like that. See, yeah, there you go. I thought it. I, I was like, this could be it four years really old, mm-hmm. or it's how you're supposed to eat it. You can no chew idea. on them. It's like placentas. Yeah, in the, it was, in the milk. It was disgusting. You never want to become that guy that's so healthy that like everything like like makes him sick. Not even healthy, but you're like, oh, I no, I can't think today because I didn't chew right. my my uh, xanthan gum. I had seven raspberries instead of five. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm I'm going into cardiac arrest. Cardiac I, arrest. You gotta I give up admit, after a while. I will admit, try I your dip, best. I dip my toe into that world a little bit, but I'm not a big titty baby like you're making me out to be. I know you're not, Just but saying. I do dip my toe into that I'm world. I'm kidding, but you never want to be that. the guy that's like, oh shit, I can't think. I didn't put collagen in my coffee right. this morning. My penis really stings, I need dude. My when it happens, it okay. really hurts. Well, oh, here's my dick stings. Our dicks hurt all the time! You don't think my, my dick is throbbing right now, you son of a bitch! 
After I come, sometimes I need like a Civil War general <laughs> yeah. doctor to come in and so, like give me morphine oh, and oh, <laughs> saw it oh, off. Oh, so start taking Vitakin, <laughs> Vitakin, dumbass. What's Vitakin? Vicodin. Oh. Vicodin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Start taking Adderall, ben, doing dabs, mm. blow through this shit. You dude. don't need to look up every weird feeling. Just let Boy, it. Boy, I thought I might be like dying or something. I, I think I'm dying every five minutes. If you never look it up, nothing ever exactly. happens. Exactly. Oh, yeah. oh, right. I yeah. literally think going to the doctor kills people. Yeah. Mm. And yeah, Devin will be walking around at 50 with a giant tumor, like that Labrador they don't right. put down. Yeah. Whatever. I didn't <laughs> stress until then looking up shit. You know? I live by an ethos, though, and the ethos is thus. We all live very similarly, like health. Jacking off is retarded. Sex is, sex is for retards. Yeah. And I, jacking I, off is cool. Sex is for jacking retards. Jacking off is, like, necessary. No, yeah. I think it's for apes. <laughs> it might be literally the only thing keeping humanity, like... Yeah, like saying if you took, any, if you took on jacking, any level, if you took jacking off away, we would all turn into that riverboat yeah. brawl. Yeah, everywhere I, you go. I am really grateful porn exists because a thought I often have when I'm out and it's crowded somewhere, I think, holy shit! Just imagine if there wasn't pornography, you wouldn't be able to go anywhere. There you go. The, you know how many people are holed up in their apartments and they haven't left in 15 years because they've been masturbating? Oh, yeah. We're talking 40% of the population. Yeah. Traffic ha- would has be way it, worse. Hasn't gone outside. Proud, would be way worse, proud yeah. member, brother. <laughs> proud, doing, hard-carrying member. I'm doing my service, of sir. The, of the jack-off army. <laughs> yeah. Porn turned everyone into J.D. Salinger. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> why, why former... <laughs> Dude, I don't need I don't need a community. I have forty tabs open right now. I live alone. My girlfriend lives across the country. I'm cranking it nonstop mm-hmm. all day long. Yep. I roll out of bed, brew coffee, and start jacking off. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. I'll jack off on the big TV with my pants down Dude, in the living room. When your girlfriend moves back here, it's gonna ruin your life. Dude, I'm gonna have to kill her or something. <laughs> I literally, dude, I have, I have, can I tell you, she moves back in four months, it's been, I think about it every single day. You're fucked, dude. How I'm going to start jacking off. Yeah. Yeah, you're fucked. Because she's also not going to be working, so it's not like she can go to work, and I'm like, oh, I got to do some podcast thing, and you gotta I'm get, jacking off. You got to get a menial job so you can jack <laughs> off, buddy. You know, people get stabbing cabins. Jace is going to need to get like a penthouse apartment somewhere just so he can go up to the mm-hmm. top floor and masturbate. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be like Don <laughs> Draper for jacking off. <laughs> I'm like, honey, I think an apartment in the city would be great. Mm. She rolls out of bed at 4 a.m. and like flips on the little lamp and mm-hmm. she looks at you and she goes, where were you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you know, where I, you know where I was. You were with one of your whores, <laughs> weren't you? You know who I was with. I was with X videos. <laughs> She's like, you dirty, dirty sights. I'm like, at least she loves me like a man. At least I feel like a man when I'm with her. Yeah, yeah. My, she made my, me feel like I'm not her. <laughs> my mother was right. You're a goddamn coomer. All you do is coom. Your mother's a gay bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's it's honestly I might I might kill both of us. Is yeah. this the superintendent? I want you to know that there was a laptop in room 4B that my boyfriend is using. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Well, I guess this whole episode was about coming. Yeah, it was one big yeah. theme. We'll call it jacking it to the streets. Patreon.com slash lemon party, everyone, for bonus episodes and back uh, logs of the live streams. And those are every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Clips channel. So make sure you subscribe to that. And please support the Patreon uh, so I can uh, feed my baby girl. <laughs> if, I, I got to feed my daughter. If the Patreon bombs, he has to get it sucked out. <laughs> So it's all on you, good mm-hmm. gentlemen. Yep. Yep. Got to call up Newsom, and he comes in with a uh, an old vacuum cleaner from 1984. Mm-hmm. He's got a vacuum cleaner, a plunger, and a bow and arrow <laughs> with a string tied to it. Yep. And, a, and an empty plate and a knife and fork. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, Gavin, uh, I go, Governor Newsom, sir. Yeah. Newsom eats Newsom eats babies like it's a lobster thing. He has a bib with a baby yeah. on it. He has uh, what's that? Uh, that he has Old Bay seasoning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He's spr- spr- just hitting the bottom of it, sprinkling on, giving a speech, giving a speech where like, um, I want to kill every fetus, and I think it's cool, and I love to eat them because I'm the devil. Mm. Squeezing a lemon over it. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, cracking it and pulling meat out of the. <laughs> 
right. Anyway, yeah. Devin Hate Watch Pod, yeah. Jay Sa- at Sad Drawings by Jace. And uh, I don't think there's anything else to promote. We're shooting a sketch soon. We just wrote two new sketches. So uh, we're waiting on our DP to be available so we can shoot them. But those will be hopefully available soon. Yep. So uh, patreon.com slash limit party. And goodbye, everybody. Thank you for Bye, listening. Bye, everybody. Bye.